In this video, we will be comparing fractions and I will show you how to determine if one fraction is bigger, smaller or equal to another fraction. So hello everyone and welcome to Mathematics with Marlene and let's get started with this video. Let's start really easy. In this example, our denominators are the same. So this means if we have, for example, circles. Both of our circles is going to be divided into five equal pieces, but the one circle is going to have two colored in pieces and the other circle is going to have four colored in pieces. Now, which one is bigger? Which one has more colored in pieces? The second fraction, four over five, is going to be bigger than the first fraction, two over five. So when we have denominators that are the same, we are going to look at the numerators to determine which fraction is bigger. Now let's say our denominators are not the same, but our numerators are the same. For example, we have one over three and one over seven. Here, our numerators are the same. What do we do now? So let's still take circles as our example. And the one circle is gonna be divided into three pieces and the other circle is going to be divided into seven pieces. And for the first circle, one of the three pieces is colored in. And for the second circle, one of the seven pieces is colored in. Can you see that the first fraction is bigger than the second fraction? So the more pieces you cut the circle into, the smaller the parts become. So that's why the first fraction is bigger than the second fraction. So when our numerators are the same, we're going to look at the denominators to determine which fraction is bigger. Now what if neither the numerators nor the denominators are the same? Here we have different numerators and different denominators. How will we determine which fraction is bigger and which one is smaller? We are going to change one or both of the fractions so that our denominators are the same. But before I do that, I'm just gonna write down this original fractions so that we can come back to that later. And now we can start changing the fractions. So how can I make the two denominators the same? If I multiply the five by two, it's also going to be 10. So then our denominators will be the same. But remember, we cannot only multiply the denominator by two, we also need to multiply the numerator by two. And let's change the denominator then to 10, five times two is 10. And we also need to multiply the numerator by two, so three times two is six. And now that our denominators are the same, we can go ahead and compare these two fractions. And like you can see, these two fractions are equal. So three over five is equal to six over 10. They are equivalent fractions. Now let's have one more example. Here we also have numerators that are not the same and denominators that are not the same. So like we said in the previous example, we need to change one or both of the fractions so that the denominators of the two fractions are the same. So again, before I change the fractions, I'm just gonna write it down so that we can come back to it later. And now we can start changing the fractions. I cannot multiply the three by anything to get five. I cannot multiply the five by anything to get three. So we need to find the lowest common multiple for three and five. And if I multiply three by five, it's going to be 15. And if I multiply five by three, it's also going to be 15. So I can take both of these denominators to 15. But remember, then I also need to multiply the first numerator also by five and the numerator of the second fraction, I also need to multiply by three. Now let's start changing the fractions. So let's start with the first denominator. Three times five is 15. Then the second denominator, five times three is 15. The first numerator, two times five is 10. And the second numerator, four times three is 12. And now that our denominators are the same, we can go ahead and compare the numerators. So 12 is bigger than 10. So 12 over 15 is going to be bigger than 10 over 15. So in our original question, 
2 over 3 is going to be smaller than 4 over 5. And just like in all my other videos, there will be a free worksheet and memo in the description box below. You can just click on the link and go and download the worksheet and memo. And if you haven't already and this video helped you, please remember to like this video and to subscribe to my channel. And then I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.